Hey, what's up? Morgan here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing some POV footage of handling monocle cobras at venom extractions over at Tom Crutchfield's facility. But first, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment, and share the video, guys. It really helps a lot. We're trying to grow this channel. Just hit over 260 followers. The first goal is 500, and the second is 1,000. So let's jump into this. You put a couple of them away? Yeah. You saw, so a, little you want... bit, you saw a little bit of the differences? Like the differences in the same? Yeah. They're all a little different. They are a yeah, little different. Yeah, but like, you know what I mean? At the same time, it's also like, either way, I was still nerve wracked by all of them. Like, yeah, of course, of course. Not one less than the other. Yeah, 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 no. Once you get your repetitions in, you got this one with it. Yes. That one's perfect. So I'll just do a handful of these. If you want, we'll save you some, but we'll wait till Ray comes okay. in. Yeah. So as you've seen there, Jamie, I kind of man personally maneuver around the tub a bit. I won't just sit there in front of it, especially up high like this. I'll sit there and kind of like maneuver around the animal. Is it the angle that you exploit and you your Exactly. You also don't have much getaway room if you're directly in front of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like cause this rack's behind you, so. And just keep your hand away as you release the tail bone. You know? <laughs> Don't stick it in there. So like this animal's right at the front, you know, so I'm gonna go to the side here. Just using centrifugal force if they try and come up on you, just kind of thrusting your wrist and thrusting down. That's what I have hard, I mean like Whipping them up on accident, you know? Whipping them on you, yeah. More like, it's more like instead of raising your hands, more just like thrust backwards. Yeah. Kind of like whipping down, yeah. Um, and I just do it, you know, to keep them away from my hand. So like this guy's in shed right now, so he's going to be acting even more defensive because he's in shed. See what I mean? He's not, he's not getting me much room to work here. Careful. One good thing is, is I did work with a lot of non-venomous species with hooks, you know, um, so I had a lot of hook training and experience just doing it on my own. So like this, like they come at me, I kind of deflect them with the hook, bro. Like, 
No, don't you come back at me. Hi. And now like this animal's towards the, the back there. So what I can try to do here is just grab this coil. And just grab that coil like that. Boom, bada bing. All right, we'll see what Ray wants to do. I'll save this side. Yeah.